the best game user settings in Chapter 5, FPS Boost. If you're facing FPS issues in Fortnite Chapter 5 like I did, no need to stress. Today, I'll walk you through the top game user settings to give your FPS a big boost and reduce delays. It's super easy, and all you need is Fortnite installed. So, without further delay, let's jump into this quick tutorial. Alright, to tweak your game user settings, grab your keyboard and follow these steps. First, press and hold the Windows key then tap R. A little window pops up in the bottom left. In that window, type percent local app data percent and click OK. You will see a bunch of folders. Now, to find the Fortnite game folder quickly, click on any folder, press F on your keyboard, and you'll jump to the F section. Look for Fortnite game, double click it. Inside, you'll find the folder named Saved. Open that, then go into Config. Head to Windows Client, and you'll spot the game user settings file. But before we dive into editing, we need to make it editable. Right click on the file, hit Properties, go to General, and make sure the read only box is unchecked. This step allows us to tweak our game user settings and optimize our PC. Ready to make Fortnite run smoother? Let's get into those settings. Great, you've got the file open for editing. Now hit Apply and then OK. Next, right click on the file, choose Edit, and let's dive into those game user settings. First up, let's tackle Motion Blur. Make sure it's set to false. It tends to drag down FPS. Just double check that it's false, not true. Now scroll down to show grass, again set it to false. This move helps you keep your texture sharp and gives you a nice FPS boost. Skip down to desired screen width and desired screen height. This is where you tweak your resolution. If you're on a mid-tier PC, try 1550 by 1080 For a low-end PC, go for 1024 by 768 It can give you a hefty 40% FPS boost. Finally, find BU's GPU crash debugging. Make sure it's false. Having it true means Epic Games runs an app while you play Fortnite, which can mess with your FPS and ping. Turning it off will do wonders for your gaming experience. Once you've made these changes, save the file, and you're good to go. Enjoy the smoother Fortnite experience. Alright, let's keep fine-tuning those settings for a smoother Fortnite experience. Right below B stop rendering in background, switch that to false. Move on to B Latency Tweak 1 and set that to false as well. For Latency Tweak 2, set it to 1. Now, find DLSS quality and make sure it's at 0. If you're playing on performance mode, this setting doesn't make a big difference, so let's keep it at 0. Scroll down a bit to B Allow Download High Res MIPS. Turn this off by setting it to false. The name pretty much says it all. We don't want the game downloading high res textures in the background. Disabling this will give your FPS a boost. Right underneath, locate B Allow Low Power Mode and set that to false too. We're aiming for high performance here and low power mode tends to mess with FPS and cause stutters. Finally, scroll down to Low Input Latency Mode and make sure it's true. This activates Low Latency Mode which slightly reduces textures for a smoother gaming experience. Once you've made these changes, save the file and you're all set to enjoy Fortnite with improved performance. Great job! Now, let's tweak some chat settings to round off your optimizations. Starting with High Social Name, set it to False. Move on to Auto Import Friends and switch that to False as well. For show notifications, keep it true. Never fade messages can stay true too. For the following settings, show timestamps on true, show whispers in all tabs on true, show custom tab on false, show whisper tab false, show global tab true, show combat and events tab on true, show clan tabs true, hide offline false, hide outgoing false, hide suggestions false, hide recent false, hide blocked true, filter mature language on true, Display character names on false. Friend invite received Q enabled false. Game or party invite received Q enabled on false. Message received Q enabled enabled. Sound enabled false. Show text chat true and font size on one. Once you've made these adjustments, click on file and then save to ensure your changes are saved. You're all set. Now you can exit out of the settings. Alright, let's fine tune those in game Fortnite settings for optimal performance. Head to the video tab. 1. Set window mode to full screen. 2. Adjust resolution to your preference. Remember, lower resolution equals more FPS, but find the balance that suits you. 3. Turn VSync off. It tends to reduce FPS. 4. For frame rate limit, cap it one frame above your monitor's refresh rate. 5. Rendering mode should be performance mode. However, if you're using an AMD GPU, consider testing DirectX 12 or DirectX 11 for potentially better performance. 
6. Graphics options don't matter much, but let's focus on graphics quality settings. 3D resolution. I keep it at 100, but lowering it boosts FPS at the cost of quality. Nanite virtualized geometry. Turn it off. View distance. Near. Textures. Low. Mesh. Low. Show FPS. Turn it on. And report performance status. Disable. Once you've adjusted these settings, you're good to go. Find that sweet spot between quality and performance. Fantastic job optimizing your Fortnite settings. And let's wrap it up. 1. Go to game settings. 2. Scroll down to record replays and turn them off. They can cause input delay and FPS drops. 3. Move to energy saving and turn both options off. 4. Head to audio and go to subtitles. Set all options to the first choice to avoid input delay. Click apply, then hit escape to save your changes. And there you have it. Your Fortnite settings are now fine-tuned for the best FPS and minimal input delay. If you found this helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. Looking forward to seeing you in the next Fortnite video. Happy gaming!